Kiki here, and today we're gonna be cleaning her enclosure. Um, her, well, we're gonna be cleaning two enclosures. We're gonna be cleaning her enclosure and also Bowie's. So, it's Kiki here. Um, she's looking really good. I swear, um, as time progresses, that orange just pops out even more. You can kind of see it. You know, she hasn't shed quite some time, so I imagine pretty soon she should be shedding. Um, but yeah, she's definitely just getting bigger for sure. Like, you know, it's really cool to see. If you guys look at older videos, you can see like, you know, she was definitely not this thick. Like she's definitely getting thicker. Definitely stronger, quick, super quick. But when she's, when she's eating, it's pretty cool to see. But yeah, so it's Kiki. Let's look at this orange tail real quick. Yeah, see that orange ain't going nowhere, I don't think. A lot of people say it'll wash out, but she's already, how old is she now? She's about eight months old, I would say, roughly. And she's just, man, beast. How long she is? One, I think an idea. She's probably about, you know, a little over two feet. See, she's a big girl, you know, she's really even big, so it's fun to see. Alright, so I'm gonna go put her up real quick and then start the cleaning, so alright, so Kiki's put up and so now I gotta start cleaning, so I'll show you guys the before or after. So, I already took this out, uh, their enclosure and the grapevine, but this is looking, oh, so beautiful, all that grit, my favorite thing about this. So, lemon juice, I feel is literally the best thing to do. So, I'm gonna bust out some lemon juice and get all that, all right? So, like I said, that's this is the before, and shortly I'll show you guys the, the after. Okay, so you guys saw the before, and now this is the after. As you can see, it's way cleaner. So that grit stuff is all gone. And uh, really, I think lemon lemon juice is literally the best thing. It just really is. Um, I don't. I use more than just lemon juice. I use lemon juice just to get the grit off, whatever. But I mean, she's looking good. <laughs> Hey, what's up fam? So now we got Bowie here and uh, we're gonna go and clean his enclosure really quick. So you already saw Kiki, we wrapped up with her. Uh, and so I was sitting looking at his enclosure, was like, you know what, I'll do it tomorrow. <sighs> and I felt bad. I was like, you know what, everyone's got a clean enclosure, so I'll make sure you get one too. And so let's take a look at him real quick. He's looking today. I love his tail, his tail looks really good. Very interesting, but his patterns more than anything are my favorite. You know, as he's a jungle morph. Um, bam, beautiful snake. And he's uh, really friendly too, so, you know, having friendly snakes that look really beautiful, it makes it that much more enjoyable. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go put him up and then get the cleaning started. Kind 
catching up to Kiki a little bit. I mean, they're like a month apart. He's a beautiful dude. Alright, so here's the last enclosure to clean. And look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Love it. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Just kidding. Do not eat that. Do not lick that. Wow, look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So much. So, we're gonna go ahead and clean all this. So you guys saw the before, and here's the after. All nice and clean. Yeah, like I said, like that lemon juice works really well. Yo, <laughs> so we did it. We cleaned both of uh, my boa enclosures and so they're all happy, living life good. Um, lemon juice, I cannot I cannot stress this enough. Lemon juice is amazing. It stuff wipes off that water grit like that. And uh, it just makes, makes the whole cleanup process way easier versus sitting there trying to really scrub that stuff off. It's, you know, it's a pain in the butt to get out. But I actually did some research on that and um, they actually, you know, what I found out, what I found out through some research is that if you use distilled water in your mister, it uh, it won't build that, you won't have that calcium build up. So uh, moving forward, I think uh, I'm gonna start using distilled water for misting, not for drinking water, but just for misting. Um, apparently distilled water does not have the proper minerals that uh, your snake needs. So that's why it's not best from what I was told to put distilled water in their water bowls. But so far as like misting them down uh, to kind of boost the humidity, uh, distilled water is actually uh, preferred just so you don't have that calcium built up. So that's that. <laughs> so if you watch my channel, you know we wrap it up on something positive. And so today's pause the challenge of the day. Pause the challenge. Of the day. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, just like you know, my snakes. You know, uh, when I when I put them back into their enclosure, they get to explore, and exploring is amazing. Exploring, you know, it's very uh, enriching for your mind. And so the positive challenge is for you to go explore outside, right? So your local neighborhood. Then you go to a park. You know, just be safe. Wear a mask, obviously. Uh, something outdoors. Uh, just, you know, walk your dog or maybe just go for a walk or a run, but just to kind of immerse yourself in your environment and live in the present, right? So don't think about, you know, things that are going on, just, just be in the moment, right? Just kind of observe, like, ooh, there's a squirrel, <laughs> I don't know, a lizard on the floor, or whatever. Just go and explore in your uh, area, um, if you can, uh, or maybe tomorrow, <laughs> whatever, whenever you can. Just go for a little exploration. So yeah, that's it, fam. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment. I'm always down to hear what you guys want to see. Uh, so please feel free to you know, let me know. Uh, and that's that, dude. Um, you know, time to go. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching once again. Uh, Black Hippie out. Peace.